Hi gang, this is Jerry from Our Task, ready to share my thought for the day. And the thought I have today is good news. You know, so often when I share a thought, it's about what's, what's going wrong, what the problems are. But I have today a, um, an article in the Science Times uh, from November 28th. 2011, and it is a profile of a Harvard professor, Steven Pinker, that was written by um, by Carl Zimmer. And basically, uh, Zimmer is writing about a new book by Pinker called The Better Angels of Our Nature. Now, I want to be upfront with you about this and tell you I have not read the book. I have read the review uh, by Zimmer, but I've not read the 800 page book uh, by Pinker. Nonetheless, I think it's clear from the, uh, from the, uh, the review that there's something here of real significance. You know, there is a common perception. I'd say, that we humans are just bloody killer apes with violence built right into our very genetic nature. And if you have that point of view, then the question arises, why try to work for peace if we are genetically doomed to strife? You know, it's a, it's a losing battle. So what I find really exciting is Pinker's research says we're not we're not genetically doomed to strife. What he did is collect data from many disciplines and fields and from all over the planet and showed that violence of all kinds has been declining for thousands of years. And he gets into thinking about why have things improved so much. And he identifies kind of two major things. One is the invention of the nation state, because the nation state established new ground rules for us, law and order as opposed to revenge, for example. And a second major thing was movable type, which allowed us to share good ideas and to criticize bad ideas. Now, Pinker is wanting to be one of the first to acknowledge that statistically there's a lot of variation in the degree of violence, but the overall trend for thousands of years has been down. And the 20th century, of course, was particularly unlucky because it had two world wars in there. Nonetheless, he says, the trend unmistakably over thousands of years is that we are becoming, as a species, we're becoming more peaceful. And, uh, and that's good news. Now, he also goes on to talk about how do you promote peace? And basically his answer is you need to create social surroundings that prompt or encourage compassion, empathy, cooperation, and self-control. If you can create social conditions that promote those things, then there's a good chance that you will also be promoting, promoting peace. Now, <clears throat> uh, Pinker also rec recommends another book which is related to How to Build Peace. It's a book by Joshua Goldstein, and the title is Winning the War on War. Uh, so that's a book that uh, uh, he recommends. And of course, uh, Pinker's book itself is one that if you're interested in these areas, you will want to look at. And uh, it's entitled, The Better Angels of Our Nature. So just to repeat and emphasize, the good news here is that we humans 
are not genetically doomed to strife uh, and violence. And that we now know a lot of the uh, techniques that are needed to create a more peaceful uh, world. So that's Jerry's thought for today, and I think it's good news. Bye for now. And, uh, oh, no, there is one more thing. I hope you'll go to our website and have a look at the ways in which you can get involved. It's www.ourtask.org. Thanks, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.